Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has announced that it has fully removed PowerShell 2 in this week's latest Canary Channel Insider Preview Build 27891. And the change, it says, will roll out for everyone in an upcoming update. So I'm almost sure that Windows 11 25H2, which will be this year's annual feature update, will have that feature removed completely from the operating system. Now, just a quick recap. PowerShell is the primary command line shell for Windows and was designed to address the so-called limitations of the legacy command prompt and has been succeeded by several major updates through the years. Now, a bit of a brief history. PowerShell 2 rolled out in Windows 7 and was turned off in Windows 10 version 1709 after Microsoft announced its deprecation on the 27th of August 2017. And although it's been deprecated, it has been an optional feature in Windows 10 and Windows 11 since. So just to show you what I'm talking about, if we head to our control panel, head to Programs and Features, click on Turn Windows Features on or off, here we can see Windows PowerShell 2. So that's what we're talking about. It is available as an optional feature, mainly used by corporations and developers. That's why Microsoft left it as an optional feature. Now, according to PowerShell 2's deprecation, Microsoft says that more details will be shared later this year. But currently, if you sign up for the Windows Insider program, as mentioned, you'll no longer come across PowerShell 2 as an optional feature like it currently is in the stable version. Now, this change at this stage likely won't affect Windows 10. Due to Windows 10's end of support, at this stage, Microsoft is only saying for Windows 11. And that means that Windows 10 will continue to roll out with PowerShell 2 as an optional feature unless obviously Microsoft changes its plans, which Microsoft is known to do. Now, I don't think your average home user is really going to even notice that Microsoft will remove PowerShell 2 in the future when it comes to stable. But to some extent or the other, it will improve security. And Microsoft says that for businesses and developers that you need to migrate to PowerShell 5 or newer Obviously, if you were using that legacy version of PowerShell, which is now being completely removed. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.